Hello everybody, Steffi here from The Makers. <clears throat> this is a quick how-to needle felt, one of these um, singing acorns. Um, on popular demand, I'm actually giving you a very quick 15-minute tutorial of how to make these and um, and then you can make them still in time for the autumn, um, for the autumn basically. So um, let's have a look at what you need. First of all, ideally you have one of our spice wool mixes. It has got all the colors and wool in there to make um, yourself a lot of these acorns. So they come, there's seven different colors in there so you can make seven different colored acorns. Um, for some of the ones that I have got here, like for example this little chap, he's got um, a Portuguese Merino cap on. You don't have to do that, you can use the um, colors that you've got in your mix to make the different hats. They are, they are quite quite rustic and quite autumnal and so you can choose your colors carefully. Um, you, have in, you have 10 grams um, of each color in there and um, you need 7 grams for the acorn and about 2 to 3 grams for their caps. So you have got uh, plenty of wool to make um, all of the acorns that you can see here in front of you as well. So I'm going to um, use this lovely red here, that's the red variegated and um, first of all I'm going to take a good pinch off because that's about six seven grams and that's about um, three grams just by, you can weigh it if you want to but you don't have to. I'm going to go to the overhead camera so you can see it all happening um, as I'm doing it here. So you've got your um, your wool here, um, first of all you, um, as always with most of our shapes, you just roll it into a um, oval, almost a little, little bit like a sausage, but not as long and not a ball either, something in between a sausage and a ball. And when you get to these wispy ends here, then you tease these out as far as you, as much as you can, make a nice neat surface cover, keep rolling it in, and um, when you get to the very end of these, then all you need to do is take your coarse felting needle and stab these wispy fibers into the main shape and that secures the shape. So that's very quick how to um, make a basic shape. It's quite squishy, we're not felting this down too much and now you've got to work your acorn all over. If uh, you have a sort of um, a gap here then you can probably at this point tease the wool out and lay it over the top. If you've got lumps and bumps sticking out just stab them down to flatten them. <clears throat> Remember you do have some spare wool left to one side so you could cover up some cracks or dents that you have got as well. Um, but also remember you're going to put a cap on one side of it so it, um, if there is one particular area you really don't like then do cover it up with a little cap um, and then problem solved. Now if you've got a single needle it will take you a little while to felt this down into a, a squat shape. Acorns can also be round so if you prefer making a ball then feel free to do that. If you happen to have a three needle felting tool then use this it will speed your, pro, um, your progress up and you can make them quite fast. We're felting them down so that they are about like a large egg length. Um, not not a not a doddy little chicken, but one of these big whoopers that sometimes chickens lay. And um, so felt it down to that size by just stabbing it all over and maintaining the oval shape that you want to achieve um, until the very, very end. So I'm stabbing all over. If you um, wanted to cover some areas up, then just take a wisp of the wool lay it out flat and just integrate it right into the shape that you're already needle felting by going around the edges first and then stab it all over. That is a good way to cover up any any cracks or anything unsightful where you feel you need to um, put something else over it. But otherwise just keep stabbing it. Just as a tip, if you do have a slight indentation somewhere, 
then stabbing more into it will not make it go away. Quite the opposite. It will make it um, deeper and bring it out even more. If you want to get rid of something that is um, an indentation or a hole, you have to stab around that area to um, level out the area around it rather than making <clears throat> stabbing into, into the crack or the hole that, um, that you have. And within no time at all, you find that your shape will firm up quite nicely. Um, make it squatter by stabbing into the top or the bottom and then stab at an angle as well. That will pull the fiber in exactly the way where you're stabbing the needles and that pull the fibers inward rather than um, pull it apart. It's actually knitting the fiber together and that is what we do with needle felting. Um, we have lots of useful tutorials, so if you want to find out more about needle felting, then look on our YouTube channel, where you already are. And um, we also have written books. We have got lots of um, tutorials, free tutorials on our website as well. And of course, we sell kits and um, all kinds of um, different projects from realistic animals to fairies to more stylized um, fun makes. Um, anything that you might want to do, flat needle felting, um, pictures, flowers, butterflies, lots and lots of different things, a, a massive big repertoire as well as all the felting wools, tools, accessories and, um, and anything that you might need for needle felting. Right, here we go. <clears throat> that looks like a good shape. I'm quite happy with this now. So um, the shape measures about six centimeters um, in length now and about um, just five centimeters in in width. So if um, if that 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 if yours measures that, then you can stop here now. Um, and um, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to give it a cup. When you're giving it a cup, you will still needle felt a little bit more um, around the shape as well. So I'm going to give mine a green cup from the stash of wool. There's my roughly two to three grams um, worth of wool. I lay this flat down. And now all I'm going to do is I'm going to stab a circle um, into the middle by going around the outline of that circle. So I know roughly that is the that will fit the cap, but I'm also going into the uh, across the middle. So I'm ma making a circle on the outline. There's not you don't need to worry too much that it's a, a, a precise size. I'm just trying to felt the inner of that um, patch that I've made from flat wool to firm it up. <clears throat> and um, you can use your multi needle for this too. If you've got a five needle felting tool, you can use that as well. I'm using our earth mat in case you're wondering what this is that I'm stabbing in, um, which is our friendly, earth friendly mat so that uh, we don't have to put plastic into the earth anymore. It lasts forever and ever and ever. And you can also um, obviously clean it. We have a special brush that will make sure that you can take any fibers off that you don't want there to be and contaminate another piece of work. And um, yeah, it's a really great, great alternative to any other felting mat. Now I'm not even going to uh, tuck in these wispy sides. I'm putting it on as it is because acorns have got sort of quite an uneven um, edge. They're not necessarily very clean cut, the edges. All I'm doing is I'm felting this onto the top of my acorn, so it looks a little bit like a, like a mushroom, I suppose. And now as I'm going along, I'm felting this in as I go along. Now, the reason why I haven't felted this down before is because I've got more flexibility now to make this cap fit without getting extra creases in there, so it looks more like a snug fit. And I'm going in between my green and the and the red to make a really to make sort of a lip so that the it looks as if the, as if the cup sits on top rather is flush to the rest of um, of my acorn and I'm going to go round all of the shape doing exactly that if it comes down a little bit more at some point than at others that's fine as I said acorn cups are not necessarily completely um, exactly the same all the way around and you can also keep it quite um, stab it with a coarse needle and keep it quite coarse the actual texture of the cup because again acorns haven't got very smooth cups they're quite um, textured 
So that, that will um, add to that too. Nearly made all my way around. There we go, almost done. Stab it down, stab underneath, make your way round and felt it down. So I'm avoiding, if I, if I had felted this completely into a solid flat shape and now I've got to make it quite a snug fit, I would have had lots of creases in there like pleats almost, but by not felting the edges and only felting them when I'm actually attaching it to the acorn um, stops that from, from happening so that you have more chance to sculpt this directly around the top of the acorn and you do want it to be quite a distinct cup. Um, because that's what acorn have, they have quite a distinct cup. So go all the way around the edges to make sure that there's a neat <clears throat> and a very distinct gap between the cup and the actual acorn. And once you've done all of that work, then you can um, make a stalk that will sit on top of the acorn's hat. All the while you are felting this on, you're also still shaping your acorn because you um, want to um, make it sort of sit in that on that cup quite neatly. And that's basically all you're doing with that. You can work on this for a long, long time, um, trying to give you a very quick tutorial so you know how to make these uh, larger than life acorns. So to make a little stalk, you just take a, a tiny wisp of green. This is a, typ a very typical technique of how you make um, shapes to attach. And for this, you just have your flat piece like that, folded in half, and then you're just rolling it in from one end. So you make a nice tight roll at the top, whilst the other end stays fluffy like this. Lay it onto your mat and only stab the, the, the neat end. Keep turning it because you want to keep that 3D-ness in place. So do stab it, turn it, stab it, turn it. Keep doing this until you've got a really neat um, shape at the top that's solid. Give it a little twist, tuck in, um, put the fibers away there. And then you can open up the base, the unfelted parts of that stalk that you've made. Sit it on top of your acorn like that and just felt it in all around the edges and the wool will sort of melt into the existing wool on the cap. So there won't be um, there won't be a join or anything like that that you need to cover up. You just need to stab it in there. Make sure you stab a couple of times right into the base of your stalk so that it, um, it doesn't pull off, especially when you're planning to hang up the acorns into a string, if that's what you want to do. And then you can have a little play. You can leave it like this or you can give your acorns faces and all the acorns that I have made, they all look like they're singing in a choir. So um, this is what you could be doing. I like these two together. They look like they're in a singing competition. And to make these little faces, they're quite easily made too because all you need is a little bit of black and a little bit of white. And um, i show you that next. Let's put these to one side. So take a wisp of white wool. You have got some white in your um, spice mix if you want to use that. And, um, and then just lay it onto, choose where you want the face to be. Or oh, this looks like he's got a little bit sort of, of a um, ready-made um, forehead with a dent there. Add the white onto onto the shape. Let the let the wool literally pull the fibers inward, so you end up with a nice little white disc. Get rid of the last wispy fibers. If there's some that are not obliging, pull them out, or you can twizzle them around the tip of your needle as you would um, wind spaghetti onto your fork. So you've made one disc now. Repeat this now on the other side. Don't need an awful lot. Just let the let the needle pull the fibers in. Just keep going consistently in a in a circular shape, and the the rest is going to be taken care of by the needle. That's what the job of the needle is. Again, if there's any wispy bits, tuck them in. So now you've got two two um, eyes that need a little black dot, and 
for the black. We take obviously a much smaller amount of black and then put this into the white. Sometimes it kind of almost disappears instantly. So if you want a little bit more, then put a bit more. But less is always more um, in, in the big picture because you can always add more rather than having to pull this out now if it's too much. And I'm going to give him cross eyes, eye, eyes because I haven't got a cross eyed acorn yet here in my little repertoire. So giving this one cross eyes. And then for the mouth, you do exactly what you did for the eyes. You literally just stub this in a circular fashion. Again, let the wool take care of itself. The needle will do the job that it needs to do and just felt it down. And even if the mouth is not quite in the center, it still looks really quite fun because they're, they're obviously um, funny little acorns that um, are singing their little hearts out. And that basically is the acorn tutorial. So you've got a, another little acorn has happened here within a few minutes, can add, <clears throat> get, get added to, to the choir. It's growing by the minute, little acorn, little singing acorns. And um, if you want to make the leaves to go with it, these um, needle felted leaves, we already have a, a, a YouTube tutorial. They are also featured in, in the Making Simple Needle Felt book. So if you have a copy of that, then um, you can uh, look up the tutorial in there or just go and have a look on our website um, or on our YouTube channel. And you find uh, there is already a leaf tutorial for that. You just need probably all of these lovely colors and um, water soluble paper. That's it. It's as simple as that. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, join us again, subscribe to our channel um, and, um, and certainly come and visit our Facebook page and uh, look us up on Instagram as well. And if you want to, you can join our Everyone a Maker Facebook group and share what you have made here from our channel or from any of our products. We would love to see them. Thank you. Bye bye.